All right. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying, Brakatha Yahawa, Brakatha Yahawa Shai, Brakatha Yahawa, Brakatha Yahawa Shai, Brakatha Yahawa, Brakatha Yahawa Shai, Ko Hala Yahawa, Bashem Yahawa Shai, Bashem Raka Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS, Great Millstone, who rule well and who taught me this truth. And uh, Shalom to you, sincere Akiam, out there listening and learning and pushing this truth. And Shalom to the few sincere Akwath that are out there listening and learning as well. With that being said, I'm going to jump straight into this video. I don't want to rot this to be edifying. As usual, I'm going to go into Raka Kwadash. And it's going to be, um, it should be a quick video. Um, it shouldn't be too long. I'm not the best um, when it comes to the economy and finances and, you know, I know enough to get by, more than the average Joe, um, but I watch a lot of these um, financial gurus, you know, to up my um, <laughs> up my game, you know, and I've, I've upped it a lot. And also, the, first and foremost, um, well, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the Rakah Kodash, the spirit, you know, guides through everything. And also the elders, especially Elder Apostle Tahar. That's why we give double honors, man. <laughs> Rule well and taught us this truth. But uh, Elder Apostle Tahar, um, he's the one that actually brought it to my attention. And um, he always mentions um, money, understanding how money, how the monetary system works. You know, when you study, um, that's really a lot, especially the Roman Empire. You know, that's why the Roman Empire collapsed, their monetary system collapsed. Um, um, what you got? Um, why more republic is a good example of that, you know. Um, understanding money, obviously the scriptures, understanding what what real money is, like we always go into. Um, you know, you, you learn about the fiat system, fiscal money. You know, you you you'll be light you be light years ahead of the average Joe. The average Joe doesn't understand what true money is. True money are tangible things, man. We operate with debt-bearing money. Oh, Elder Apostle Gabar goes into it too. Debt-bearing notes, okay? Our money isn't backed by anything tangible. It's printed out of thin air, ones and zeros, okay? And um, real money are tangible things, you know, like silver and gold, resources, uh, oil. That's real money. Land, livestock, people. When you read Revelation, souls of men, you know, that's, you know, labor, you know, you, you got bodies, you got labor, you can, you know, like, uh, you can, for example, slavery, going back to slavery, pick conic, pick cotton, work the land, you know, so those are money, like, for example, um, if you, if you have a bunch of children in the ancient world, sons, you know, or, or, or daughters, they, you know, they can bring in a dowry, you know, so those tangible things are or what, or what where all money is, wealth, what makes you rich, time, you know, these are all, um, what's real money, you know, has real value, again, our system is built, is, um, you're not dealing with real money, and Elder Apostle Tahar always went into how, you know, we're going to see hyperinflation, which is what happened in the Weimar Republic, hyperinflation is, is going to kick in, you know, Venezuela, when, you know, is a prime example, their money became worthless, okay? And why is that? Because we're not dealing with real money. We're dealing with unjust weights. And this system is built upon usury, debt, which I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring out some scriptures, you know? That I bought you, that heavy clay. So anyway, enough of me ranting, um, Salakia. Hopefully that made sense and came together. But do your own due diligence. Like I said, I'm not the best... When it comes to the economy and finances and so on and so forth. But I watch a lot of these financial gurus. So-called financial gurus. And this is one guy in particular that I like to watch. I believe his name is George Gammon. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, George Gammon. He has multiple pages. I subscribe to all of them. You know, and he, he he's a brist about the economy. He's always doing every day, man, edifying videos. He's He's got his eye on the economy. That's his talent that's his gift but um in particular i'm not going to play this video i don't want to get copyright stricken you know me but i highly implore you to go and watch this video in its entirety it's from one of his pages it's called rebel capitalist 
And um, as you can see, the video is entitled Warning, New Data Points to Tsunami of Bankruptcies. And he's talking about, he's predicting in 2024, a lot of these mom and pop businesses even are going to um, collapse even more. And um, I say all that to say, um, watching this video, I, I came to the realization, which we already knew, which we already know because Elder Pastor Hor always talks about it. And I always mention it. We, they have to collapse this current economy to usher in this new a order of ages, this new world order, this digital system that they're rolling out. Okay, you know, which is <laughs> it's going to be backed by ones and zeros even more. It's going to be solely backed by ones and zeros. Okay, everything you're going to do is going to be on that blockchain, the Internet of Things. These are things we've spoke about before. They want to connect you to the Internet of Things. Okay. And ultimately, they're going to be able to track everything through that MOTB, okay? That karagma per Revelation 13 and 16, that digital all, okay? That digital C-hip that they're going to put in you per Revelation 13 and 16. All roads are leading to the karagma, okay? But um, going back to the small businesses, we, we brought out at camp, you know, uh, the small, which he brings it out also, he mentioned it, the small businesses are the backbone of America, the American, so-called American Babylonian economy, okay, these small businesses are the are the uh, majority taxpayers, poor people don't pay taxes like that, and we know the wealth, the super rich, they're all, they have all type of loopholes, so they, they're not paying taxes like that, the middle class, the mom and pops, okay, they're the ones that take the bear the brunt of the taxation okay and they're they're becoming um you know they're hey there a lot of them are filing for bankruptcy they're 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 closing down they've been closing down you know and it's only he predicts it's only going to be it's going to be a tsunami of bankruptcies as the video is entitled so um why I'm really doing this lesson is watch watch the video it's an entire in its entirety like I said it's highly edifying you know, but he he made a point that I I, I was like, damn, that's true. You know, I I know it already, but but he like it was like he like he like slapped me in the face with it. Like yeah, when you watch the news, all you hear is about Jerome Powell, and even when you go look at all the uh, economic news, even in UK and all this shit, every all the talks is about interest rates, interest rates, interest rates. Whether they're gonna raise the interest rates or lower the interest rates. The interest rates are, are, are like a scapegoat, okay? And um, really, he brought out the point, which I've heard it before, you know, and uh, you know, but I, I, I it, he, he like really, it, it, for some reason, it like rung home in this video. The interest rates are just an excuse, which we know going back to Elder Apostle Tahar, again, we're not dealing with real money. What's going on is your vet, your money is being devalued. Your dollars are being devalued, which we we keep we, we've mentioned it before, especially with this whole BRICS alliance. Okay, these BRICS nations, a lot a lot of these nations are dumping the dollar. Okay, therefore um, the money is being devalued because you're not using real money. Okay, gold and silver and and, and things like that, oil, they, they never lose their value. They hold their value, but the dollar is being devalued because. It's, it's being taken out of circulation, okay? It's losing its strength. America's losing its hegemony. And they're just using the, the whole interest rate thing as a guise, an excuse, a scapegoat. Because uh, he brought out in this lesson that, in this video, that interest rates are not even that high. They're, they're at a norm. When you go back throughout history, the interest rates are actually kind of low. Go back to, like, the, the 1970s. You go back in time, the interest rates are around the same. It's not it's not that big of a deal. What's really happening, if you can see it, is that your money's being devalued. Okay? That's that's the problem. The interest rates are the same. Okay? You say you bought a house back in 1970. I'm just throwing some numbers out there. You bought a house out back in 1970, the interest rates were like uh, 3% let's say 3%, 5%, whatever, whatever the hell you want to use on, on that 30-year mortgage. The problem is back in 1970, 1950, whatever, that three-bedroom, two-bath house you might have bought was worth, you, you might have paid 50000 for it. I'm just throwing numbers out there. 
you might have paid 50000 for a three-bedroom, two-bath house, okay? Fast forward, that same house, the same interest rates, 3%, 5%, whatever you're paying on it, that the mortgage that that, that house is now that third that, that house you might have bought paid for uh fifty thousand, sixty thousand, that house is worth four hundred thousand, six hundred thousand. So now the interest rates on a four hundred thousand you know, that's the problem. It's not the, the the money's being devalued. It's not it doesn't have its same strength, okay? If that's making sense. That's what's going on. And the, the whole interest rate excuse it's just it's just an excuse. It's just a fucking excuse. Okay, what the problem is, the, the the everything is going up. Utilities, um, uh, gas, food, cause the money is being devalued. Everything is costing more. You, you you needed more of that money, more paper dollars, which is gonna lead to hyperinflation. Okay, you see, it's not really the interest rates. The interest rates are pretty much the same, if not lower. We really have low interest rates. And that's basically, it shows you that this play, I say all that to say, Salaki from ranting, I say all that to say, this bitch is through, which he, he mentioned. It's a, it's a lose-lose. Whether they raise interest rates or lower interest rates, you're just kicking the can down the street. It's, it's a, it basically, this shit, this collapse is inevitable, which we know is biblical prophecy. This is an, it's inevitable. They have to collapse this current economy. This fiat, no fiat, no fiscal fiat system lasted forever. They all rose and fell. That's the problem with funny money. You're not dealing with real money. They all eventually collapse. Okay? And this, this bitch is through. Whether they raise the interest rates or lower them, all, all it's going to do is you might just extend the lifeline of that small business for a little bit longer if you lower the interest rates. But if they have to lower the interest rates, that shows you that the American, the average American is hurting. The economy, they can't, you know, it's lose-lose, baby. Beautiful times for the elect, man. Horrific times for the rest of you. Enough of me blibbity-blabbing. Uh, let's, uh, matter of fact, I'm, I'm just, I went a lot longer than, than, I, wanted, than I wanted it to. I was slogging for renting. Hopefully, it's, it's coming together and it's making sense. All right, so let, let's, let's run through the scriptures and I'll close out. Deuteronomy 25 and 13. Thou shalt not have in thy bag diverse weights, a great and small. All right, you have to have a just balance, which is, it says in Proverbs 20 and 23. Diverse weights are an abomination unto the Lord Jehovah, and a false balance is not good. And that's what this, this, this whole monetary system is set up upon false weights. A false balance, diverse weights, because you're not dealing with real money. If you're dealing with silver and gold, that's a that's a just balance. Okay, you might I'm just throwing some shit out there. You might have um, three ounces of gold should weigh a certain amount, and it's going to have a certain value. A pound of silver has a certain weight and a certain value. Okay, that's how you it's supposed to be a just scale. All right, an even kill for everybody. But now you're dealing with money that's going up and down, okay? Because you're not de you're dealing with debt-bearing notes, s fiat fiscal money that they print out of thin air, okay? You okay? And that's the, that's what it said. That's the point. That's what this place has: diverse weights, okay? And and and, and, and an unjust balance, okay? Wickedness, okay? And that's why this bitch is through. This place was built upon a house of cards. Rape, robbery, deceit, lies, you know, ill-gotten gains, and usury. Debt-bearing notes, heavy pledges. That's the backbone of the American economy. Debt. Okay? Which you see the U.S. debt clock is is tallying up. They bank, they they, they are running, they running up the tab. Because they about to collapse this bitch. Habakkuk 2 and 6. Straight to the point. The whole chapter's good. Shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say, Woe to him that increaseth that which is not his. Woe means destruction. That's what's coming to this place. Chiefly Esau, Edom, and Babylon the Great. Destruction. Total annihilation. How long? Not much longer. Job told you that. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai set the bounds which he can't pass. 
The joy of the hypocrite is but for a short time, for a moment. This bitch is through. Thy redemption is nigh. This is the main point, though. And to him that ladeth himself with thick clay. That thick clay represents, look it up, I bought you. Heavy debts. Okay? Okay? And that's what you, that's what you, Dylan, using debt bearing notes. Okay? Deuteronomy 23 and 19. Thou shalt not lend upon usury to thy brother. Usury of money, usury of victuals, because that's real, real money is what? Silver, gold, like I said, oil, victuals, food. You know, you're not supposed to put interest on it, extras on it. Okay? That's wickedness. You you if you get if you use usury with somebody, that you they dig they digging themselves in a hole, man. That they can they may never depending on how high the the usury the interest is the taxes, you know you may never get out of that hole, man. You know, thou shalt not lend upon usury to thy brother usury of money usury of victuals usury of anything that is lent upon usury, okay. Um. That's the point. And Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Isaiah 24 and 2, as you can see, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is getting ready to body this whole system. Okay? Collapse this whole bitch. All right? So that, that's the point. I'm going to close out here. All right? I'm going to close out here. The whole chapter is good. Main point is a 9. I don't want to write this out. Again, like I said, this uh, came together and it made sense. I hope it did. I hope the Rakak Wadash was with me. You know, I'm not the best. Jenna, I'm not a very smart man, Jenna. You know, <laughs> I ain't the best. You know, but um, it's making sense in my mind. Is it in your mind? It's making sense in my mind. When I read it, when I when I saw this video, it was just like yeah, how about you me? I was shining a cock with dash was just shaking me, screaming at me, and I, I had to do this lesson again. Watch this video from the rebel capitalist George Gammon. Warning: A new data points to tsunami of ba bankruptcies. Why? Because we're not dealing with real money. It's not really the interest rates. Okay? The interest rates are the same from back in the day, if not lower. It's that the money's being devalued. The dollar's losing its strength. America's losing its hegemony. Okay? The same the things that may have cost you a car, for example, or a house, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago was... was uh, Three, four times, five, six times less cost less than um, what they cost now. Okay, so the, that's that's how interest taxes work. You know, usury. The more something costs, the more uh, interest is going to be on it. Okay, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna close out here. Jeremiah 51 and nine. First lock it. Jeremiah 51 and six. Main point is in nine. Flee out of the midst of Babylon. And deliver America. Babylon is confusion. That's what this place is. Nothing but confusion. Even the monetary system is confusion. You try to follow the stock exchange and all this shit. It's nothing but ex uh, confusion. His laws, his legislations, nothing but ex uh, confusion. Amendments and all this fucking place is nothing but confusion. Babal, Babylon. The Hebrew word for B Babylon is Babal. Confusion. This place is nothing but confusion. You start looking, stu you know, studying and checking shit out, you get a goddamn headache. His fucking new speech and his, you know, his fine print and this place is a fu this place got to be control alt deleted, swept with the best of destruction, and it's gonna be sooner than later. Not soon enough, man. Fucking uh, aggravate you when you when you, when you think about it. He that increases increase knowledge, increases sorrow. Okay, the more you learn about this bitch, the more you want Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to destroy this fucking place and take this devil down and, and, and bring righteousness in the earth. Flee out of the midst of Babylon. If you ain't in that spirit, you're going to die here, man. This bitch got to be reset. Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity. Yeah, don't, 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 uh, don't take part in her sins. Envy not the oppressor and, and choose none of his ways. A lot of you trust in oppression. You trust in Egypt. You, you, you copy this goddamn devil. You, you drunken on his wine, his ideologies, his philosophies. You buy into his bullshit. This capitalistic, you know, 
uh, dog eat dog, you know, only the strong. So you buy into all that bullshit, okay? You know, you just like your goddamn daddy, so you're gonna die here. Be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of the Lord Yahweh's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. The kingdom is about to be translated from one people to another. Babylon have, and the Lord is going to pay your goddamn devils back. Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord Yahweh's hand that made all the earth drunken, drunken on her ways, her philosophies, her ideologies. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. Yeah, now the, the nations are seeing the side effects of, of uh, laying with this goddamn devil. They're, they're seeing how destroyed they are. Now they're angry. Now they want some get back. Now they want some vengeance. Now they're plotting on you. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed, and we're seeing it. This place is through. It's inevitable, like, like uh, George Gammon said. Whether they raise the interest rates or lower it, they just kicking a can down the, down the street, down the road. This bitch is on life support like we keep telling you. It's circling the drain. That bubble should have been popped. They putting band-aids on gushing wounds. All this uh, quantitative easing and bailouts and stimmy stimmies and you know, they just playing fucking games, man. Ultimately, the only reason this this economy's still afloat is because they keep uh printing them mo that money out of thin air. Run, you know, running up the debt clock. That's the only, you know, that's the only reason these people are still standing because all they they just keep pr you know printing money out of fucking thin air put you know pulling shit out of their asses coming up with new terms and new speeches quantitative easing shrinkflation all this bullshit you know <laughs> Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed how for her take balm for her pain if so she may be healed you can't but what you can't heal this bitch there's no ointment the ointment is this word. And hey, how how can they good, do good that is a custom to doing evil? The Lord made this devil to be wicked. That's all he could do is wickedness. We have we Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take palm for her bane. Slack it. Take balm for her pain. If so, she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country. For her judgment reaches unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. Hey, and I was just thinking about, I saw Elder Apostle Tahar mention about how the heathens are flooding this place. They opening the borders. Hey, <laughs> they, cause they, 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 these people are, are, are risking their life because they still believe in that American dream. They still think Babylon is that golden cup, you know? But, but they going to realize shortly that they've been bamboozled. They've been... Uh, fed a lie, you know, you know, this American dream is American nightmare, and they're gonna be scrambling to leave this bitch, you know. That's the time, you know. They made they 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 erred. <laughs> they they gonna realize that they erred. They sh they would have been better off where they was at, you know. Hey, beautiful times, man. Shalawam, wa abad babal, kwam neshirala.